and there's 80 active geysers right now. And he's here finally. In the previous video, we told you that San Pedro de Atacama is 2300 meters above the sea level, and today we are visiting the Geyser de Taito, which is located in 4300 meters above the sea level. So we hope that we won't have too much problem for breathing because apparently the road takes only two hours, and if you count well. It's two hours and 2,000 meters above the sea level more. So that's a big gap. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, I will have to It's been 25 minutes we are waiting for our minivan. Maybe we have a chance with this one. It's like so bumpy and so dusty. <laughs> and the sun is coming slowly. I think we are arriving. So the geyser El Taito is the third biggest geyser in the world. It's the first highest located in the world and there's 80 active geysers right now. Pretty impressive. It's, it's crazy to see those huge geysers going at like 40 meters high. <sighs> Never saw that before. I'm happy that we came, even if it's freezing cold. It's pretty funny because the guy told us that they build those little walls to protect the area because uh, the surface can just collapse and you will be boiled as a chicken in less than five minutes. And apparently some people have died around here. It's not that easy to avoid the group of tourists. So if you come here, if you are planning on coming here, honestly, you should try to rent a car and come a bit later because all the group are coming in the same time. But you have to know that the geyser will be uh, way less powerful because right now, they are going at like maybe, I don't know, like I said before, like this one, maybe 60 meters high. It's also because there is a big difference of temperature between the boiling water and the cold of the morning. And of course, with the sunrise, the temperature is going high, so the geyser gets less powerful. We're a bit scared how our bodies were going to react to the high altitude. Because we are now at 4,300 meters above the sea level. It's absolutely insane. You can feel it, like your breath is slower. Uh -huh. It looks like you take only 30% of your lungs. And you can feel a bit dizzy and feel a bit of a pressure around yeah. here. I have a kind of a headache right I now. I'm pretty okay. We heard that some people puke. They cannot even enjoy their visit. No. For me, I have only a headache and little breathing problems, but I think everybody around us has the same. Thing. Yeah, it's not a big deal. We just made it to the thermal bus. It looks very tempting because it's cold and the water is super hot, but I just cannot imagine going in my swimsuit right now and jumping in the water. So it looks complicated. But I think, you know, the guys there look very relaxed. It's true. I don't know if I can do it. I just can't. I just don't. It's very, I'm still very, very cold. We decided that we're going to do it because it's a one-time thing and we will regret it all our lives. And we will never come back here, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's change. Can you imagine what Kristen is doing for you? How is it? <laughs> That's my turn. Go pro time.
<laughs> okay, that's really good. I really don't regret. <laughs> this is the worst part. We are absolutely freezing right now. Where is my toe? Oh my god. That's really hard. That's really hard. <laughs> that was a really nice experience. Uh, honestly, we didn't thought that we were going to do it, but we did it. Hopefully we did it. Thanks, Christina. She pushed me to do it. And you remember what I said before about the geyser? The only way to see them is to come really early. Is because the difference of temperature, I told you. Look at that. Two hours later, there is no more geyser at all. That's pretty crazy. I didn't thought it was going to be that less. They just like disappear. <laughs> Time for the breakfast right now. And we see you in the Val de Luna on the sunset. Cheers. Ooh, and as we said this morning, uh, here we are in the Moon Valley or Valley de la Luna in Spanish. We're gonna finish the day here with the sunset. It's not happening yet, but we are here on the, one of the highest viewpoint in this valley. It's absolutely insane. It's breathtaking and uh, we're really enjoying this moment right now. Actually, I didn't thought that it was going to be that cool, but being here on the edge, it's just beautiful, full of rocks. You can see the salt, all the white uh, stand that you see there. You can walk on the ridge if you want, but just try to be careful. But yeah, you will probably have one of the best pictures for your Instagram. Because here, if you fall, I don't think you will make it. I know that in this kind of situation, everybody wants to take risk to have the best shot. But it's really something that we should not do because that's pretty stupid. Just to make jealous our friends and people have died just taking a stupid selfie. So always be careful. Think twice before trying to take the best shot ever. Look at the size of those walls. It's pretty, pretty crazy. And like five minutes ago, we were just over there. Just over there. And look at the dune. She's going to be right next to us in a few seconds. She's just perfect. Nobody touch her. So here we are on the Mirador. That was my French accent. So on the Mirador, that was my English accent, but I don't know how to do the Spanish oh, accent. You know. No, like Mirador. <laughs> and there is like maybe 300 people waiting for the sun to go down. And, and we are one of them. <laughs> of course. I think it's not really like that how we like sunset, mm -hmm. even if it's actually really beautiful. But you know, it's the kind of moment you want to be a bit alone or like a small group. And right now there is like really a lot of people. And today it's our last day in Chile, which is absolutely amazing. We had a really great time in a geyser, even here in this beautiful valley. And tomorrow we are traveling all day to Bolivia. 10 hours of bus. <laughs> and Bolivia is actually just you know, back there. There is like 200 kilometers maximum. But where we are going, it's 500 kilometers. So that's why it's going to take all day long. Mm -hmm. But we love that, it's cool. See you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> if you make it till the end, we wanted to thank you for watching. And if you want to support us, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our upcoming adventures and check out our previous videos.